But what the Knicks do have, gentlemen, is Jalen Brunson. And Tom Thibodeau talks often about how every offseason he's always getting better. Uh, you know, whether it's shot making, whether it's footwork, whatever it is, he's always coming back an improved player. CP, where do you see Brunson at this point, based on what he did last season? Where do you see him uh, going up a level uh, coming into this year? Well, you can certainly hope so. And for the Knicks to be able to compete with the Bucks, he's going to have to step it up another level and, and be a bona fide all-star. I mean, to be able to come onto the scene and, and shoot the ball as efficiently as he did, uh, shoot it as efficiently as he did from three, and really take command of this offense from day one. I mean, if, if you go back to the previous point guards that this Knicks team had from – Peyton to the failed Kemba Walker experiment to even putting Alec Burks in that position, they really didn't have that stability there. And so for Brunson, that's what he's going to have to continue to do this year for the Knicks is just to be that guy that they can rely on, give the ball to, set the tempo, command the offense, and be a guy that can really deliver for them in crunch time situations. Yeah, yeah, certainly. And, and we go to another uh, important Nick, Julius Randall Allen, and he, you know, he's talked about being a more efficient player. Talked to us about that in training camp. I thought that was interesting. Uh, coming off a uh, relatively strong season, all-star season, uh, we all saw playoffs. Randall was hurt. Uh, I thought there was some possessions where he wasn't giving you 100% on defense, even with the injured ankle. Uh, but I thought he played much better in this last postseason than his first one. Now, obviously, he's going to need to have a big season for the Knicks to go where they want to go. Allen, uh Stats aside, how do you view Randall just in terms of what's most important? What do you see when you see Randall at his best? Before I get into Randall, I just want to thank CP for the PTSD on the point guard situation before Jalen Brunson. I mean, he just starts <laughs> rattling off names, and I just start going into that really dark place about watching Alfred Payton not shoot the basketball. I mean, Will, you want how far back do you want to go here? Because I work with Harry Douglas, Tony's brother, and I'm like, I tell Harry all the time, "What's your brother doing? Is he still playing? We need a point guard." So at least that part was solved. But with 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 Randall. You know, the official, I, I said this on the broadcast when we were doing the, uh, the, the Minnesota preseason game, and, and I really felt it watching him and just talking to him, just seeing him at this point now. And it's like, you know, we've kind of grown with him, right? And when he first came here, was, was he a good player? What could he be? Then you started seeing evidence of what he could be. Became an all NBA player, an all star. But I don't think anybody really took him that serious. And then, of course, the step back year and all the issues that happened, the stuff with the fans and everything else. And there grew this animosity, right, and this frustration that what we later learn is that we were all mad at the same thing, right? Like, we were all mad at the same thing, which was him. He was mad at himself, too, but he was mad that everybody was, was seeing it and calling him out for it. Welcome to New York. So it's like this growth process that's happened. And I remind people all the time, let's not take for granted in three, in three years he was a two-time All-NBA. That's hard to do. Mm -hmm. that he's an all-star twice as well. That's still hard to do. And look at Nick's history and recent Nick's history. There's not a lot of that in the last 20 years. And then on top of it, it is the, the, the production part of it, right? The 2010 and, and four, which, you know, you have Jokic, uh, you, you might have Embiid, you might have Giannis. There's not many guys that are doing what he's doing statistically. I love that he's talking efficiency now because that tells me it's less about the totals and more about how the production is brought. And it's also the understanding that with a year under his belt playing with a guy like Brunson is that that understanding kind of is already now in place. That's what we like about the continuity of this team. I want to see Randall's game, I don't know if this makes sense, mature. Does that make sense? The idea that there were times that he will always revert back and then you'll see a couple of bad shots or broken possessions or where he just overhandles the basketball. And we all know when they come. He's too good of a player at this point to start reverting to that. So the maturity in his game that at the age of 28, it really should be at a point now where he knows not to go to those places. Doesn't have to. you got a guy like Brunson that can get you 25, 30 a night. R.J. Barrett can get 20 a night. Recognize what you have around you. And that at this point, with all the accolades that you've had, all NBA twice, all-star, all the different things he's done, what's now missing is winning. And being part of a core that, you know, everybody keeps talking about the Knicks need a star. And here's a guy that should be, if I were him, looking around going, I am a two-time All-Star. Like, mm -hmm. I've been two-time All-NBA. Like, what do you mean they need a star? That's how he should think. Now, we don't see him that way. That's reality. 
But he should think that way, and that would be maturity in his game, to make it more about winning and less concern about shots and points and statistics and everything else because he's kind of done that already. 